a woman and gold is a project I've been nurturing for six or seven years and it's a, a subject I feel very passionate about and uh, uh, in some ways it links the events of the Holocaust and uh, you know the terrible events in Europe in the 1930s with contemporary America now because uh, a, a Holocaust survivor living in Los Angeles towards the end of her life decides to take on the Austrian government to win back the painting that was taken from her family. And so it's a story that takes place in the recent past and the distant past. And uh, I've been incredibly lucky uh, to get a, a cast to dream of to make this film with. I mean, I mean it, it was a story that had to take place in uh, t two time zones in the 1930s and uh, the first decade of, of this new century. Uh, and uh, it takes place in different languages. So uh, we were directing the past uh, in German and the present in English, and we shot in three countries, in three cities. So that was, on the one hand, challenging, on the other hand, tremendously exciting. We're at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, which is uh, the location for, I think, the third or fourth scene in the film, and our leading character, Maria Altman's uh, sister's funeral. And so it's... Uh, really the start of Maria's journey because she's the last of her generation to be alive and that's what prompts her to take on this campaign to get back the art that was taken from her family. Well I read about the story and seen a documentary and I became besotted by the story actually because it seemed to me that Maria Altman was one of the great stories of the 20th century. She was born in Vienna when it was the most extraordinary melting pot of ideas many of the ideas that dominated the 20th century. And uh, through uh, a series of extraordinary events, she um, lived most of her life in the United States. And of course, you could argue that uh, the 20th century was the American century. So in some ways, she was symbolic of the 20th century. So uh, uh, it was a tremendous honor to be able to tell her story. We meet Maria Altman uh, towards the end of her life, uh, now living in Los Angeles, where she's lived for maybe half a century. Uh, and she hears that the art restitution laws are changing in Europe and decides, as the last living member of her family, to fight a campaign to try to get back the paintings that were taken from her family in 1938 when the Nazis uh, arrived in Vienna. And of course, the paintings are very precious because they were part of her family history, but they also symbolic of the family and the community that was destroyed in 1938. And we follow her and the young lawyer she recruits, who's the grandson of another emigre from uh, Vienna, the great Arnold Schoenberg, and his, his grandson is a young lawyer in LA. And together they, 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 they become this odd couple who take on this campaign that takes them all the way to the Supreme Court in the United States and all the way to Vienna in the hope of um, reclaiming the paintings uh, that belong to Maria's family. Well, there's very much a, a journey in the film, probably more than there was in real life, because Randy, in our film, is an all-American guy who learns the value of his family history and the family legacy during the course of the film. Uh, and at first, I think Maria finds him a bit annoying and sort of disrespectful. Uh, and uh, he finds her uh, sort of bossy and irritating. And, but together, they, 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 they go through the very emotional journey of Maria going back to Vienna. And uh, they both learn a great deal from that time and from each other. In some ways, this film is an odd couple going on a road journey. Uh, a, a young man and an elderly lady uh, who begin to really enjoy each other uh, and learn from each other as they, they go on this very emotional journey into the past. Oh, I met Brian when we were casting it and immediately really liked him. He was a very, very smart guy. And I think uh, in some ways he's very different from the real Randy Shambo, but he, both of them are very smart men and both of them have a a sort of empathetic sweetness too. So uh, it struck me that uh, Ryan was brilliant casting for the part. It was a tremendous honor to work with Helen. Uh, and one of my first jobs uh, uh, in the theater actually was an assistant director on a play uh, in which uh, she was the lead, Measure for Measure by Shakespeare. 
and she recruited me to help her with her fan mail and um, uh, uh, help her with her lines and so on. And so, uh, but actually, all I really did was make her cups of tea and reassure her, which is pretty much all I did this time as well. But uh, you know, joking aside, it was a, a great experience to, to work with Helen. She was extraordinary to work with, so committed to the part, and uh, it was exciting every day to see what she was going to do uh, on camera. We were very lucky to get Charles Dance to play that part, and I just wanted uh, an intimidating man who, because uh, Ryan is quite a tall guy, so I wanted a very tall man who could be stand to him uh, toe to toe, as it were, and. Uh, uh, Charles is a very charming, very uh, intelligent man, but he has a sort of quite an intimidating vibe as well. So I think that works well. Well, I was lucky to get Elizabeth McGovern to play the judge. Uh, I mean, we're married, so I, was, I did have access, but that doesn't usually get me very far. But uh, she's the daughter of a UCLA law professor. And so I think he's, her father is very proud to see her playing a Los Angeles judge. One of the things that most appealed to me about this story was that it was a story of World War II, the story of the Holocaust and so on, but it was also a story about modern America and the modern world. And it was a story that threaded through the 20th century from 1938 to 1998, as it were. And, you know, it's a complex thing. You know, should we move on and, and just carry on with our lives or should we remember the past? And I think one of the things we try to do in this film is for Randy a young American to, to understand the importance of his personal family history and what his ancestors went through to get to where they now are. And, you know, you could argue where all over the world uh, there's a, a sniff of anti-Semitism rising up. Uh, you know, it's very important to remind people of some of the, 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 the to remind people of what happened in the 20th century and uh, some of the mistakes were, that were made. I think it is important to remember.